Hey folks, I'm your host Brett Rasmussen and you're watching Back to School, your guide to riding backcountry terrain Rasmussen style. This is episode 17 and we'll be talking about how to avoid getting stuck by maintaining momentum. Let's face it, at some point every backcountry rider is going to get their snowmobile stuck. I see more people getting stuck because of the lack of momentum over every other reason. Maintaining momentum keeps the sled gliding on top of the snow where you have the most control. When you let off the throttle, the front end settles and the snowmobile drops below the surface of the snow. This creates more friction on the skis and belly of the sled, causing the track to move the snow from below the sled. This trenching effect consumes a lot of engine power. It also affects the gliding properties of the sled. When the back end begins to trench, the front end pitches up. The running boards and tunnel begin dragging through the snow, adding friction. To keep afloat in deep powder snow, it's all about track speed. Track speed provides forward momentum and lift. Each time the rider chops the throttle, even momentarily, they are losing track speed and creating the potential to get stuck. To stay on the throttle for just another instant can make the difference in getting stuck or gliding through. If you have to chop the throttle to reposition the sled, do it very quickly and get right back to full throttle. When you feel the sled slow down while ascending, adjust to a shallower approach angle across slope until you can gain enough momentum to turn back up slope. When navigating over old trenches, holes, and other natural terrain features, the rider can smooth out the movement as follows. Simultaneously compress the rear suspension by dropping your body weight on the back of the running boards and pin the throttle. Imagine if you were trying to wheelie, same idea. This method with some forward motion will help you smooth out terrain features like shallow gullies, logs, and stumps. The opposite is also true. If you use the brake and quickly slow the track, the front end will come down. For example, going over a bump or rising the terrain while ascending a slope. This is great for keeping the track on the snow where it has the most surface area and gets the most traction. Another key element to maintaining momentum is to stay focused on the chosen line and not on the hazards that tend to draw our attention. Keep the hazards in your periphery, but do not focus on them. The sled will go to the point of your focus as your body intuitively moves and manipulates the balance of the sled. Pro tip, anticipate how your sled will react to the terrain features in your chosen line before you arrive there and have a plan to keep your sled in control without lifting your thumb. If becoming stuck is not avoidable, try to get the sled turned partway out. Use the track to cut through the snow as you lean the sled to get it sideways on the slope. This makes it so much easier to free up. Lastly, one of the worst places to find your sled stuck is in the bottom of a gully. As a rule, I will try to mostly ride up on the sides when I'm in a gully. This allows me to use gravity in the event I lose momentum and get stuck. Thanks for watching Back to School. In episode 18, we'll be teaching how to easily right your sled if it tips over. If you find these tutorials helpful and want the full experience, we'd love to have you join us on the mountain. Get details about our in-person clinics at riderasmussenstyle.com. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time.